Now, back to more nomination news ahead of the 2015 general election, and we'll focus tonight a little bit on the Liberals. Now, the party said this week, as we told you, that it will appoint two ombudsmen to help sort out any squabbles that might pop up in nomination fights across the country. And, of course, that news came after a former two-time candidate, Christine Innes, sued the party after she was banned from trying to become a three-time candidate in Trinity Spadina or anywhere else for that matter. So who's running for the Liberals in Trinity Spadina? Olivia Chow's old writing? Well, today it emerged that Toronto City Councillor Adam Vaughn, loved by the left as much as he's loathed by the right, will seek the nomination. And apparently his decision to run was sealed over lunch with leader Justin Trudeau yesterday. Joe Cressy already has locked up the nomination for the NDP in Trinity Spadina. Now, closer to Parliament Hill, the Liberals hope to steal the riding of Ottawa Orleans in 2015. It's been represented since, since 2006 by Conservative Royal Gallipo. Trudeau's hand-picked favorite to contest it for the Liberals is Andrew Leslie. He's the retired general. But Leslie is, may have to fight for the right to be the Liberal candidate because this week, David Birchie said he wants to be the candidate. And David joins us now. This is, and, and this is the place you ran against Royal again. You'd like a rematch. You did relatively well last time out. A uh, few thousand votes separated you, but uh, as I was mentioning just before you came on air, you were the, you got the fifth most votes of any Liberal candidate across the country. That's got to get you a rematch, you'd think. I hope so. I'm okay. looking forward to gaining the trust of all the Liberal Party faithful in Ottawa Orleans, and I'm confident, uh, you know, there are no polls done at the moment, at least right. that I know of, and uh, there are two challengers. I look at them as the challengers because, frankly, I ran in the last election. We worked really hard. We mm -hmm. created winning conditions. And I'm really looking forward to knocking on doors and recruiting more members and having a fair, open, contested nomination. The, let, let me ask the, the $68,000 question, or somewhere between eighty dollars and $90,000 question. You'll, we'll get to this in a second. Will the party let you run? And this goes back to your leadership campaign and some, some debt still outstanding, et cetera, et cetera. Do, do you expect the party to say, sorry, David, you, you can't do it? No, I expect the party to let me run based on a couple of factors. First and foremost, uh, in the last three weeks, we raised almost $50,000. That's great. Which has reduced the debt significantly. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, we put forward a comprehensive plan to reduce the debt well before the next federal election. So I'm confident the party will green light me to run. And I'm confident the people in Ottawa Orleans will support someone who's lived, worked, raised children, and meets people day to day and chose and is committed to Ottawa Orleans like myself. To, to bring people up on the backstory behind leadership debts, I think the party has said, uh, essentially, to, to, to dumb it down, is that by the time 2015 rolls around, they don't want any leadership debt. So as long as you or anyone else has a clear path to make sure there's no debt, great. And there is another candidate out there, and that's Mark Garneau. Um, so he'd have to be treated as equally as you would, so far as the leadership debt goes. The second issue was you exceeded the, 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 the limit for borrowing, uh, the $100,000. And uh, the party is saying, you better have a good reason why you went over that. Now, have you had some discussion? And that could be, see, that could be the reason someone says to you, oh, sorry, there's a technicality here. We're not letting you run. Have you had any chats with the party about that particular I've issue? I've talked to the chair of the Greenlight Committee just briefly uh, when I f submitted my application last mm -hmm. week. Uh, he was very optimistic. Uh, they're going to look at the paperwork we filed. They're going to look at all the materials we filed, and I'm confident we'll be approved, and I will be approved to run in Ottawa Orleans. Let's talk about the fight then. Here's the guy, Andrew Leslie, who is, uh, it seemed to be popular within the party, looking at his, his reception at the last convention. And some liberals may say, David, we want to have you both in. Uh, Andrew's already sort of stepped up here. Why don't we we'll let Andrew run in this riding? Ottawa West Nepean, there's no incumbent <laughs> over there. Why don't you go and run in Ottawa West Nepean? You know, it's funny because uh, I had that very discussion when Andrew invited me out to a, to a a beer, to have a beer with him, and I suggested there are three other ridings that, that, he could go run in. that he'd love to run in. I yeah. think it's important, uh, you know, uh, the winning conditions in Ottawa Orleans weren't, didn't occur overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of hard work by a lot of people working as a team, and when you're in the riding and you're, you're seeing how they live, you're recruiting people to the party and you're helping, that brings you a lot of respect from the people on the ground, and that's where the battle is going to be won, and when you knock on over 30,000 doors, in the last election, for example, mm -hmm. uh, when you raise money time and time again for the party in the riding, people get to know you. They know where you come from. They get the straight goods from you. They're used to you. They feel comfortable with you. They respect you. I'm committed to Ottawa Orleans. I live in Ottawa Orleans. 
And, uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for Andrew and, uh, frankly, all the men and women who served our country and their families. Uh, but it's not about that. It's about representing the community that you're most familiar with, where you can advocate on their behalf. And I think I'm the best candidate for that. So if, I mean, I, I'll parse it back. They may come back to and saying, well, I was here first. I've done a lot of work in the riding. And I'd rather not throw it away when Andrew or anybody else wants to step. There's lots of other ridings that we need candidates in. Well, I think it's more than just saying I was here first. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, first of all, I've been involved with the Liberal Party, and I've been at, you know, when the party was down in the dumps many years ago. Right. Um, you know, I was part of the, the people who wanted to solve the problem. I want to make a difference. I want to make a difference in my community, in the area I believe in, that they need strong, competent, effective representation. And if you know and understand the businesses, I built a business in that riding. If you know the businesses, mm -hmm. you know their needs and concerns, you can you know, represent them far more effectively. People want people to be selected at the grassroots level. And I think the party has committed themselves to that. I think um, that's what's going to ultimately happen. Last question I want to ask you, and this is maybe more, uh, ultimately liberals will have to decide this one, but you ran against Justin Trudeau for the leadership of the party, and clearly you felt that you would be a better leader than he, he ended up, or is being, or who knows whatever, but uh, obviously there's, there, there was that competition you had with the leader himself. Uh, and then the leader has this guy, Leslie, that you're now running against, who he, for all intents and purposes, sort of handpicked and said, we're going to find you a riding. Uh, do you feel you'll get a fair chance, uh, if you are allowed to run, you'll get a fair chance to try and it, just beat Leslie on his own? Or will the leader's thumb be on a scale somewhere? Well, I don't think the leader's thumb will be anywhere in that, that regard. I think what you're facing is the riding will decide who the best candidate is to represent them. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to that challenge. I'm focused on recruiting members, keeping the members we've recruited on board and, and happy with what I'm doing. I mean, I call them daily. I'm on the hustings daily still. I'm going back over areas that I really know really well. Yeah. And it's about relationships. And relationships take time to nurture. And I think that's what gives me the advantage, not only against the two challengers, because there are two challengers Sorry, running. I didn't know the third. The, there's yeah, the, Leslie and... Uh, Gar Knudsen has decided to put his hand, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. and he's awaiting green light approval as well. All right. So there's two challengers I'm facing. And uh, the relationship, that relationship is pivotal in not only winning the Liberal nomination, but also going forward. And beating Royale, who is, we should point out, uh, running again his, as so long as his health stays where it is. Uh, David Birch, good luck. We'll have you back in at some point it's when things crank here. up. Thank great you. to be here. Thank All you right, very thanks. much. Well,